darlings welcome back to royal appleberry and today um i should probably get an apron because i have one decent clothing <laughs> but today i am making a turmeric soap um I'm, i really wanted to make it for myself but then i was just like you know what let's just um make it for everybody else too so yes this is not just going to be just a plain old turmeric soap it's going to be turmeric um colloidal oatmeal avocado and ginger so i have my avocado here i got some colloidal oatmeal here i have my turmeric here and then okay i have a teeny little bottle of um ginger essential oil i'm gonna use it i don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make i didn't want it to have like a a smell like this really strong ginger smell just a hint of a smell if it fades off that's fine if it doesn't that's great i'm gonna put some ground ginger powder and did, did i say honey i don't remember but yes i'm gonna use some honey as well so let's go ahead and get our soap mix up first and i'm gonna do this in alex for those of you who are new to my channel and you don't know who alex is alex is my awesome sauce acrylic slab mold and if you want one, you can just head over to um, Custom Craft Tools and grab one for yourself. It is beautiful. It is well handcrafted and it is going to last you forever. So, you'll see her in a minute. And why did I name my uh, mole Alex? It's because the owner's name, the owner's names are Alex. <laughs> so, alright. So now, it is very cold in my basement. So I'm soaping it very, very cold. Oh, I'm just all out of sorts. I'm acting like I've never made soap a day in my life. Got to put my additives in. <laughs> so, this soap is going to be very, very good for your skin. Um, it can be used all over, but I mainly made it as a face soap. Um, as you guys know, if you don't know, ginger is amazing for your, your skin. Avocado is amazing for your skin. Cinnamon. Where did I get cinnamon from? <laughs> Honey. <laughs> I'm thinking about making some kind of dish. <laughs> but honey is amazing for your skin. Honey is humectant um, and it actually soothes the skin. And I'm not going to give too much more information if you would like to know about the properties of each one of these that I'm using. Then you can Google them because um, I don't want to make any claims on this soap. Because I don't need the FDA going to give me. But <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a really, really good soap for your skin. For my skin. So, um, let me grab my scale. I'm also going to add some aloe vera juice which is great for the skin as well. Okay. And now, I'm going to put all the rest of my additives in together. I'm not going to put them in with this right now. So, got my stick blender. So, um, all in all, well, there's no all in all. This soap is 100% natural. Uh, all the ingredients I'm using are natural. So, I think, no, this is not my first all natural soap. But, um, I do like them. I do, I do, I do. So, let's get my lava water in here. Have you guys, I know this is an old, old show, and for those of you who have been around, you know I don't watch TV. Um, I'll try to get in Netflix whenever I can. I'm going to use this knife to get this out, whatever that little speckle is. But um, I watched this two years ago, and it was so good to me, I just wanted to watch it again. And for those of you who are new and you don't like chatty uh, videos, <laughs> this one's probably not for you. Because <laughs> I talk about everything, not just soap making. But you will see me make soap, that is for sure. So, 
Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I'm I'm watching Nurse Jackie again for those of you who know what it is, and for those of you who don't, you should watch it all. That is such a good series. It's so good. You know it's good if you watch it again. It's a it's a pretty long series. Um, so I just I don't know, I just love love that show. I'm not gonna give away too much for those who have never watched it. But you just you do root for her because she's a good person. She just doesn't always make the best decisions. Alright, so let me go ahead and stick with this again. <laughs> all right um guys all my bowls all of my bowls especially the ones i got from the dollar store they're all cracking but i guess i really can't complain i've had these things for four years so um yeah this is looking beauteous oh i just love my new recipe it's so creamy you see how creamy that is just make you want to eat it but trust me you're not doing no very very fluid pours <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is get my avocado. I already cut it. There we go. Some people I've seen on, I think it's called tasty.com or something like that. I've seen them actually use the whole avocado seeds, just bake them and make something fantastic out of them. But I don't like avocado, so therefore I'll never be doing that. So let's grab a spoon. <laughs> Um, this one is kind of on the yellower side, but that's okay. And I, I like to score it just because when I get it into my uh, container for blending, it's already chunked up. I don't really have to take it out and then try to dice it. And I don't know nothing about no avocados, y'all, because I don't like them. So... If I'm doing something wrong, then I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I don't want the skin in there, though. And this is not a tutorial. So, um, this is just showing you how I make it. I don't want anybody getting frustrated with me. Because I know it's like um, when a lot of soap makers do natural soaps. A lot of people kind of get up in arms if they're new and don't understand soap making, saying that you didn't explain enough. But, um, no. This is not a tutorial. Okay, Strugglesville. It looks so good, though. I always am very tempted to take a bite, but I ain't gonna do that. Because <laughs> last time I made avocado soap, I tasted it and, ugh, ugh, <laughs> it's not good to me. So I'm only using one half of this. I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm going to use the other one. Or do I want to? No, you know what? It's a small avocado. I'm going to use the whole thing. Uh, so I'm going to scrape all this stuff off. Out. Off camera. All right. So now I got all of my avocado in here. So that's one whole small avocado that I'm going to use. And um, you don't have to use preservatives. It's not going to go bad. You'll use it before then. Unless you plan on buying it to keep it. Which I don't know why you would buy it then. But um, I'm going to put. Okay. <laughs> Just a little bit of ginger. Nothing crazy. Um, you can use a teaspoon. I'm not going to use a full teaspoon. And I know this is not accurate. But I didn't plan to use a full teaspoon anyway. So I'm just going to eyeball that. Maybe. i just put a bit more because I've always had acne prone skin I mean all of my life so I take and here's another thing and I'm not telling you guys what to do I'm telling you what works for me I take evening primrose vitamins and they do really really help with my skin but I figured I can use a little something more because I wash my face with my soap every soap I make um, I always keep the ends and I wash my face with those and I've never had any problems with my recipe, with my skin, although I do have very sensitive skin. And that's what I always say um, when people tell you, oh, I have very, very sensitive skin. If you can use commercial soap, your skin is not really that sensitive because that stuff is not even soap. Um, it's more detergents than it is actually soap. So I'm using uh, two teaspoons of turmeric. Actually, I'm going to use three teaspoons of turmeric. And that should do it. I don't want too much and look up 
uh, I think I mentioned that in a video too, uh, Golden Milk. Look that up too. It's really, really good for you. It contains turmeric. Um, I might add some more, but I think that's good for now. But, uh, yeah, it's very, very good for you. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's good for inflammation. And that's why I like to drink it. So this is clotted oatmeal. I'm just putting it all over <laughs> the top of this blade thingy. So, and then I'm going to add the ginger essential oil in here as well. Like I said, just mix it all in together. That looks like it's going to be something that you can eat. Well, hell, it is something you can eat. <laughs> but it looks like something I'm about to make you eat. But it's not. Pop this little lid off. I've had this essential oil for a minute. And I never knew what to do with it. So I think this is perfect. Like I said, it's not a whole lot. But whatever it's going to do, it's going to do. If it fades off, then like I said, that's fine too. But at least I did use it and I'm not wasting it. Alright. It's so funny how like your sense of, I don't know, your, I guess your likings change as you get older. Because when I first smelled ginger essential oil, I thought it was the most disgusting thing I had ever smelled in my entire life. But now, <laughs> it really doesn't bother me too much. All right, and now I'm going to use, um, it's going to take a minute for this honey. Okay, I had to pop my honey in the microwave just because it, I'm just making a big old mess, y'all. It's really, really cold in my studio. I mean, extremely cold, but it's okay today because it is actually, 82 degrees outside and today is April no today is May 2nd yes May 2nd so May's finally here <laughs> and then um May's finally here and we finally get some good weather um because this weather has just been tripping and um I love hot weather but what's crazy is I don't really go outside very much <laughs> Now, Gabe, he lives outside. You can barely pay him to stay in the house when it's warm out. But he likes winter better. Isn't that crazy? So, yeah, I use just about a teaspoon of everything except for the turmeric and the colloidal oatmeal. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this on. I really could have took these gloves off because everything is, like, super sticky. I mean, <laughs> super sticky, stu super slippery. Jeez. All right, so we're going to go ahead and blend this up. So I think this is a bit dry, so we're just going to put a little bit of water. Now, I'm going to put a little bit more aloe vera juice. That should do it. This smells really good, believe it or not. Now that smells pretty, pretty good. I think that I could use just a little bit more liquid. I'm going to add some milk. Aloe vera juice. Put that and that should do it. So I think this soap is going to be absolutely amazing for the face. And if it's good for your face, it's definitely good for your body. All right, that is beautiful. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, yes. Can't wait for that to go into my soap. So, take the stick blender out. Use the spatula. I don't want to waste any of this. This smells really, really good. It smells like the ginger essential oil, that is for sure. Um, and like I said, I hated ginger essential oil the first time I smelled it, but it smells pretty good now. You know what? One of these days, I'm going to chop up that uh, avocado seed 
well do some research first and um see how to and just use the whole thing in my neck so I think that would be really good because from what I heard the seed is has more properties in it than the actual avocado itself and guys if you have one of these stick blender combos this is brawn I believe that's the brand I have yeah Gabriel bought this for my birthday and let me tell you honey this blade these blades they're super sharp so be very careful when using these because you don't take off no fingers but they do have safety locks just even clean them though I would suggest you just use a spatula because I took the safety shield off of this with my hand and it kind of scraped my thumb like I'm like whoa man <laughs> so got to be more careful all right so get all this beautiful golden goodness out of here oh that is beautiful so be sure to scrape the sides yes all right now that that's all mixed up we're gonna go ahead and grab our salt bag and I don't know what in the world is happening here it is sitting over here getting super thick being the fact that there's no fragrance or anything in here so it's okay though because it's just um, gonna be mixed in and then I'm going to um, I'm going to put it in the slap mold, but I am going to change containers just because this one feels a wee bit tight. Be back. Okay, I am back. Oh, funny story. This is uh, about a year ago. Um, I made, no, it's been about two years ago. I made um, some turmeric. It was uh, turmeric, honey, and I forget what else mixture for my face. I think I told you guys this. I can't even remember. Um, I made it for my face and uh, it turned my face, even though I'm brown, it turned my face gold for, <laughs> for like three days. <laughs> and I went to work and uh, one of my coworkers was just like, you're glowing. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> and then another coworker was like, um, what's wrong with your skin? So yeah, um, but you don't have to worry about this staining your skin at all because it's not that much and it's not as concentrated. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Alrighty. So now I'm gonna go hand and hand mix this. Oh wow, look at that reaction. That's a color. I love that. Whoa, that's a pretty color. Natural colors per really beautiful and I'm going to try to start incorporating more natural colorants into my soaps because this is really pretty really really pretty so I'm going to hand mix the rest of this off camera just because I want to be sure everything's really really good and incorporated and I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me stir. Okay, be back. All right, I went on and took my whisk attachment to it just because um, I wanted to be sure that all the bits and everything was mixed in because I had a few clumps of dry ginger, um, ginger powder. So I just wanted to be sure everything was mixed in. This color is fantastic, isn't it though? It, it looks like carrots. <laughs> okay, so let me grab Alex. And don't mind the water spots normally I dry it <laughs> my liner before I um I, I dry my liner before I put it away but I'll let it drip dry this time all right so we're gonna go ahead and pour the whole thing in there this is beautiful 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 and now I'm kind of hoping that the gender essential oil does kind of fade off that's how it really I should have just stuck with my original plan and left this unscented. I kind of wanted it unscented, so. But I don't. As little as that was, I really don't see it sticking around. Oh, that's such a beautiful color. I bought these new bowls um, just because I needed some new ones. And I don't mind them not having a traditional handle. They just have like a little lip handle. But I don't like the fact that they don't have like that rigid edge where I can clean my spatulas off pretty good on them. But they do hold a lot, so I do like that about them. All right, 
get the spatula cleaned up. And um, I think I said, yeah, no, this is not going to stain your skin. You don't have to worry about that. It's not going to stain any part of you. Because once it goes through saponification and all that fun stuff, you will just have a nice, solid, beautiful bar of soap. I wonder if this is going to turn yellow or stay this color. All right. Let's get this spread out in the bowl. All right. My memory card was full, but it just gave me... The chance to go ahead and bang this down. I knew it was going to have a lot of air bubbles in it just because um, I whipped it with my uh, whisk. So I'm just going to pop some of them. And then I'll texture the top and then we'll put the dividers in. I'm so excited about this soap. I really am. I don't know why, but I am. Really okay, I think that should be good enough. I don't think I need to burst too many of them because I'm about to take a spoon to it. All right, so, and... part about solid color soaps um you can keep texturing them and it's not going to make a difference because they're solid color all right now i'll get that one last smack down just to settle everything i'm going to try to clean off the sides so they're not up so high we got a little bit of the dried texture dried ginger on top from my spoon. I should have cleaned that spoon. So let me get that out of there. Yeah, it's such a wonderful color. It really is. And the peaks fail, which is fine because um, they don't need to be super high. And it's just even better for packaging. I think I'm going to make another one of these just because this is going to be a good seller at my fairs. I just know it. And I know that I don't make Naked Nelly and um, Midnight Streaker enough. But it sells so slow. But I guess it's just good to have on hand. But I get excited because I'm like, well, I could use this batch or something else. <laughs> but um, it is such a good soap. Because people tend to like scented soaps better. But um, I always like to have them around. But um, I should have both of them back in stock now. So if you're interested, just head over to my store and you can grab them. And if not, check back. <laughs> but they should be there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put the dividers in. And I got, oh, I want to call this carrot. It's funny how your mind tells you one thing, although you know it's something else. I know this is turmeric, but I keep wanting to call it a carrot. So it has not a single drop of carrot in it. Okay, wrong one. It's just the color of it. But yeah, this is, I keep grabbing the wrong ones. <laughs> I'm really excited about this soap. And I was going to put like some, something on top, but I guess I won't. I think it's okay like that because it is mainly for your face. So you don't need any scrubby bits or anything. And I was going to put some ginger, but I think that's not a good idea because ginger can be hot. I would. But it won't be in this soap, though. Because it goes through saponification. Alright, so there it is. And I will bring you guys back for... I want to leave it alone, Kenny. <laughs> for the unmolding. See you over there. It's coming up right now. So it's been about... I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's been about two and a half weeks since this has been sitting in the mold. Um, I just kind of let it sit. Why not? So, um, it did change color as you guys can see. 
and the fragrance did fade a little bit um let me see in fact i could just take the bottom off hold on guys so let me grab it up and get a grip on it oh the whole thing just sliding off is it well i'll take all my daggers out yeah it's kind of sliding off on this own that's why i love to let my soap sit when i I'm not too anxious to get at them but um yeah it doesn't it smells a little bit like ginger essential oil now but not very much and I'm kind of glad the fragrance faded because I was kind of like mm, I probably shouldn't have done that after I made it but I like the way it smells now uh, and that's only just a personal preference a lot of people like ginger fragrance oil I just so happen not to be one of those. <laughs> but um, I'm definitely keeping one of these soaps for myself. That was kind of the whole intention of me making them. So I'm going to take this one. I just love this mold because these bars are always such a good size. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. I am. It's such a beautiful day outside. Today is... Today is, uh, today is April. Today is not April. What in the hell? Today is May 17th. Woo, I've been losing days. <laughs> um, and this soap will be, uh, posted on my website. I'm gonna go for about June 15th. Nope, actually, June 12th probably sooner than that so um just give it a go by the time this video is posted it will definitely be up so that's the way they're gonna look well them being trimmed up like i said it's a very very slight fragrance um of uh ginger i didn't put a whole lot it was just enough to um i don't know what's with there's that little piece coming off i think that's where it's still yeah it's still kind of soft but uh yeah I just kind of wanted to get rid of that ginger. So I'll do a couple more. And I'm not going to unmold the whole thing. Well, clearly. You can see what it looks like already. And um, I like the color that it turned. Just a nice neutral color. It just screams clean to me. And natural. <laughs> kind of looks like an oatmeal soap too. Although this isn't an oatmeal soap. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. But... I'm just taking the potato pila, your vegetable pillar. I'm just kind of going around the edges. So there you have it. There's my ginger and uh, cumin. It's mostly cumin, if I can remember what in the halibut I put in here. I know it's cute. It, it is. <laughs> That's why the only thing about uh, letting my soap sit, I always forget what the heck they are oh my gosh this is not cumin there is not a drop of cumin in here at all it's turmeric <laughs> so um yeah this is my turmeric and ginger and honey so yes there you go so i know it's gonna be fan who fantastic and i got a lot of inquiries at work about this soap already so that's always a good thing and i am going to keep this one in stock in my shop just because I'm going to do better with bringing back my all natural line like my Naked Nelly. We'll keep it in stock. My Naked Nelly and Midnight Streaker. The only reason why I don't keep it stocked on a regular because you have your times where it sells very well and times where it doesn't. So I just try to gauge what the market is like instead of me making it. It just kind of hangs out there. So this is crazy that it's been sitting there for two weeks. But the humidity level in my basement um, has been quite high. So that's it guys I'm gonna go now but uh, I hope you did enjoy this video and if you want one of these for yourself just head on over to the shop you'll find it there um, it is really really good like I said for um, your face and you can definitely use it on your body as well I plan to use this as an all-over soap so love hugs and kisses be awesome and amazing everything you do oh before I go so for those of you who are always here um, you know that I love music, love, 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 like seriously love music. Lo music is everything to me. Um, oh, and also that is going to turn to that color. But yeah, I love music, like seriously. And if you like, I like different music. I don't like mainstream music, but there's a group called 
Moonchild. Check them out if you haven't heard them already. They make amazing music. Oh my gosh, that woman's voice is stellar. You can find it right here on YouTube. So guys, until the next cutting, I'm just all, all out of sorts. Until the next making and cutting video, I'll see you over there. Bye!